You chasing something particular, are you? Uh, whites or large pillies or? I want to catch some brim. You want to catch some brim? Yeah, yeah whites or baby blues. So oh. Probably the best. That's the, best, is it, or? that's the biggest selling bait in the shop. Okay. Baby blues. Have a nice day, bud. Hey, fishos. Uh, welcome to Attic Tackle How To's. My name's Jason. Um, this week, I'm going to touch base on one of one for you bait fishos. So. Um, in the river, especially summer months, our whiting, our flatties have been coming on really strong. Um, so a simple concept and a little bit of a change up from your standard concept will take your fish into a whole nother level. So basically, I pretty much will got a swivel, number four long shank, and about 40 centimetres a litre. A lot of us run a standard little piece sinker on there, which is fine and does the job for you. But if you do want to fish a few tides and you want to get a few um, uh, different applications from the one rig, so you're not rigging two or three times, this will cover your big whiting, uh, cover your flathead. I'll just pick this up. Cover your big whiting and your flathead. So basically, my number four long shank is a bait holder from Mustard. Long bait holders, which are a crack and hook. They keep your, um, your bait presented as one nice presentation on your hook, nothing balls up into a little ball on the bottom. Um, second of all, I will run a teardrop dropper sinker. And as you can see from that teardrop through a swivel, I've got uh, a ballpark of six or seven inches uh, of line tied to that swivel. So basically what that does is it still gives me a nice slide effect. Fish can take pick up the bait and gently pick off with it without feeling any resistance whatsoever. It keeps it directly off the bottom and that bait floating in that area. So more tide, um, you might shorten your leader. Uh, the tide slackens down, you might keep it nice and long for that presentation. So quite simple. Um, you can run your worms, um, you can run your white pillies. So worms I do well on my abbeys late afternoon, early morning. Uh, I do quite well on my whiting late afternoon, early morning. Sometimes I want to target a flatty. I will up my leader from about six pound and I'll go to a 12 pound. But so pretty much well with your white bait, it's just placing that hook directly through the eye. We're pulling that hook out of the fish's eye and we're gently placing it central in the back, avoiding the backbone and that. So that'll pop through and that hook will lay quite long across that fish. So there's no need for any half hitches or nothing like that. And that will just drag it across the bottom, need be. So moving on to, uh, to you offshore boys with a bit of bait, simplicity is the key. So me pattern osters in close to about 40, 60 meters. I'll run a ballpark of 40 pound line, um, drop a setup. I like the distance between the droppers, the length of my arm if you can fathom that, and I like two hooks. As you can see, my bottom droppers don't go down with it without a bit of Lumo uh, on them as well. Lumo just takes it to a whole nother level, uh, keeps the bite there. Don't go too thick because the fish are quite acclimatised to seeing stuff thrown in their face. Those guys, I'll have bits of yakka, um, I'll have squid heads, anything fresh that comes off the bottom. Um, pillies are good as well, but they don't tend to hold for that big drop all the way up and down. So I will use more flesh bait, squid and things like that. Um, I do do my pattern noster three ways, uh, two ways, double hook rig. I do run a three way swivel in the individual three ways, which we get from Shogun. Quite a good re uh, concept in general. The three swivels, it's two swivels in one. Your old school three ways had one swivel with a, one poking out the side, which still binded up quite well. These, your pearlies will come up to the surface, uh, no twist, your snap will come up, no twist, and your rig's ready to go on the way back down. That's bottom bouncing. Float lining, another ball game. So very effective concept uh, for, for your bait fishing in that way. It's basically a double hook snell, back to a bit of lumo on there, a must. Whether it be a bead, a little squid, it just takes that fishing uh, to another level and it gets more reactions than the standard rig itself. I will run my weighted sinker. You will put your sinker to whatever size you need to what depth you're doing. Um, so in close, you know, from 20 metres out to sort of 40 metres, I will run that pea size. 
You don't need a big size. Out wider, you will have to drop it a bit more. So these guys are pretty simple. I will run a um, whole squid on them. I will run my whole pilly. So super simple effect, being a double snell. One hook goes through the eye of the fish and the other hook goes in the tail of the fish. Some of us run the cock and the sock. So the cock and the sock is the pilly with the squid, uh, the pilly up into the skirt of the squid. And then we'll put that double hook straight in the eye on that as well. And it helps pin that bait and that skirt stop it from sliding up and down. So a few people that are heading this way, uh, coming down on weekends from Brisbane and whatnot, and you're not quite sure what to use and what's going on bait side of things, key factor, fresh baits are always the key. Um, some of our local baits in here, which pride ourselves in our bait at Attic Tackle, um, our Baby Blues is probably one of our biggest selling baits for in the river, off the rocks, um, and all that sort of stuff, your flat ears, your tailor, um, your school Jews and whatnot. So it seems to be quite a popular bait. Um, if you're coming up for the weekend, fresh beach worms, you want to hit those whiting and that. Fresh whites are the key, a good all-rounder. If you come in or you go to places you can't get beach worms, um, or there's frozen ones available, they don't go on your hook as good, but they fish just as good. If you can't get them, next best thing will be your pippies in general, especially if you guys off the beach and that sort of stuff. Fishes quite well. Prawns always keep the kids amused. So if you're looking for prawns, make sure you've got nice prawn coloration in your packets. No orange, yellows and things like that. So nice color presentation helps. Uh, and another form which works for especially off our headlands and that area, whole gar and that around here. So hopefully a few of these pointers will get you going in our local area. If you're not sure, pop in and say g'day. We'll steer you in the right direction. <laughs>